In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create the jitter plot and the barbell chart. For the jitter plot, as you can see, we need uh, the sales by category. We want the bubble, one bubble, one dot for each order. Then we create a shifting for each bubble. So we can see they are scattered around in that category. Let's do it. So first, sales by category. And we do not want the bar, so we need a bubble, so we switch to a circle. But we do not want one bar, one circle for one category. We want every order has one bubble, right? So we just uh, drag this order ID to detail. So we have every order have one bubble. But in this case, actually, there are so many overlaps. But uh, we also want to control the the bubble size. So once again, there are so many small orders overlapped with each other. That's why we need another level of shifting. So we call it a random function. So basically we create this uh, random shifting for every bubble so they do not overlap with each other anymore. At least they do not completely overlap with each other. So we're gonna remove this uh, header so we do not want to not do this anymore, right? And then we just drag this one to make it longer. So that's about it. Of course, you can change other information as well. You can change the corner, and then you can change it like this to match the example we showed in class. And then we're going to change the name of this chart as always, right? So we have this one, and uh, then we can move to our barbell chart. As you can see here, the barbell chart, you can tell that we use a multiple layer to create this kind of view effect, right? So we can do it through create multiple layer. So we create a worksheet. So basically we need the sales by employee. So sales by employee here. And then we're going to change the size of this chart a little bit because we were going to have more size to create a duplicate. So once we have this sales by employee, we can just uh, create duplicates. So as, as I discussed, hold the control key, drag the sales to the right, so you duplicate the, the chart. So there are two layers created. We want to make one layer as a bubble, another layer as a line, so we can overlap them each other. So say if we want to create this as a bubble, so we're going to switch to circle, so we have bubble, but we do not want one bubble for one one employee. So in order to create this barbell, we need two bubble for one employee. So you can see actually one bubble for one year is 1997, this is 1996. So we're going to drag the order date to the detail to create two bubble for one employee, because these are only one, two years, two years of data. And then we want to change a different corner for different year, right? So drag this other data again to the corner car. So in this case, we're going to have, a, but by default, for some reason, the tableau pick the order, the quarter, which we do not want. We want the years, right? So we want a year. So the two years, two corners. Okay. Once we have bubble part created for this layer, we're going to work on the this layer. So this layer we're going to create the create the nine the nine part, right? So we're going to switch to the nine. But this nine actually connect different employee. But we do not want to this type of line. We want the nine which is the straight nine connect the two dot. Basically connect the two year. So we're going to drag this order data again to say we want to pass within this employee. Okay, so that basically the pass will be two years from two years so we can connect this one together. Then finally, we have two layer, two layer of the chart created. We're going to do, use a dual access to put them together. But here you can see there's a little bit weird because you can, you can see the bar inside that Dot, so which we can easily switch the layer to have that bubble or dot on top of this that bar. So basically, 
So in this case, sounds like uh, the bar is inside that bubble, so you cannot see it anymore. Of course, in the end of the day, you can remove this unwanted scene, right? Or then you can just uh, increase the size a little bit. That's about it. Of course, you can change the corner as well, but uh, I can just keep this as, as, as it is. You can always resign for the bubble, of course. You go to bubble chart, you assign different corner to different year, and you can assign a different corner to the to the bar, okay? That's about it. Of, of course, always forget, we're going to change the name of this chart as well.